Good morning. Well, no, that's a lie. We never get out in the morning. <laughs> Good afternoon. <laughs> Welcome to Waggy's Travels. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day in Cornwall. And we're traveling just down the road to a place called Lerin. Lerin, that's correct, isn't it? It is, yes. Where we're going to Lerin. So, before I head off this evening to go and do some work in Bristol, um, we're going to go and have a, a walk around Lerin and um, might have a pasty or something. What do you reckon? Well, there are probably food and drink will be involved. Food and drink will be involved. So we're going to go to Lerin and um, it's we'd a bit lovely... busier on the roads. Yeah, definitely busier. Definitely cars about. And come along and join us and um, we'll show you around Lerin. All right, see you when we get there. And where are you? So we on. Can we're on. Of course, we're on. So just give me a second while I open this bottle. So let's show you a match area. Uh, but look at this. Look, look where we are. Look at it for you. Is the river coming back in? Uh, I don't know. It looks like it's flowing that way. Um, sorry, have I, have I been here before? Yeah. Uh, on jobs, yeah. I've driven through here on jobs, but um, I'm never. living over there. I'd be worried it flood. Anyway, I've got sugar in my coffee, which is very naughty, considering the fact I've got a flapjack. All right, so. For lunch, we have got what we got? Bombay potato pasty. Bombay potato pasty. Come on in, let's do this. Well, I don't know if I want to be filmed eating my Bombay potato pasty. Yeah, come we'll on. let them know what it's like afterwards. Listen, listen, they are so used to seeing us scoffing our faces yeah, in the wind. Let's do this. This, I must admit, this was a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to be. Well, it's a normal size coffee. That's what size coffees used to be in the days before supersizing everything. Wow! I'll tell you what, it's hot. So. Why don't you turn them around so they can have a look? They, I've just showed them. I've, just, I've got a knobby end. He played the stars, didn't he? Right, hang on a minute. You're eating the bum bit first. The knobby end, the other end. This right. bit, hang on a minute. Mm. Mm. The taste is nice. Mm. Wow, look at the size of that. Compared to mine. A wide mouth frog. No, you're not. That's nice. Well, we had planned today before leaving to set up the slow cooker and for our, our jackery review, uh, we were going to um, put the slow cooker on and use that, weren't we? But well, you're not home tonight to eat dinner anyway. No, so um, that will follow soon. That will follow probably when Thursday. Out for a Thursday, so. How's it that be new garden? How fabulous would that be? I'm going to take you for a walk around the village in a minute. But um, the Bombay potato pasty. From the village shop. From the village shop. Pretty lovely. So massive thumbs up for that. Um, we'll eat this and we'll be back soon. Well, we've eaten. Lisa's just putting her trainers on. And then we're going to go and... Uh, we're going to go and have a look around. Oh, sorry, he was really close in. Yeah. The drill hall. Built 1911, restored 2002. 
Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous here. My favourite word, that isn't it? Gorgeous. Just have a look at that. House on the river. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Hey look, a pub in the village store. Oh, Lisa thinks she knows somewhere. I can't remember. Do you think it's down here? I can't remember. So what is it we're actually going to go and see if we can find? It's um, a secret garden in the woods. Oh. There's a pub. This way, but it's quite a nice archway. Ah, an archway. Are you sure this isn't someone's house? It didn't say don't come this way, did it? This might give Charlotte room. Should we stop and ask? Yeah, let's back in a minute. Now, we've just walked down that little path, which has basically brought us along the quayside. Over there. Yeah, that's nice. Well, they're all beautiful. What a place to live. I like that one. Can't afford it. Which one? That one. Well, right down on the water's edge. Yeah, this one right here. No. I quite like the old stone one, to be honest. Or are they two? Yeah, there's two, isn't it? Oh, absolutely, I love it. I need a boat yesterday. Oh. So we've just walked over the little bridge there, down from the, oh, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> just walked over the little bridge down, and that's, that's rather cute. Lots of little boats. That side of the river too. As long as you catch those stepping stones, if once the tide's in, you won't be able to. Oh. There we go. Public footpath. So we'll come this side. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you ever so much. Lovely tree over there, all the white flowers on. What is that? I don't know. Mm. Apple tree, maybe. So we discovered today that we've got a what tree in our garden? We've got a cherry tree. We've got a cherry tree. So I should be flogging cherry pie. Well, you need to get up there before the birdies eat. Them. Before the birdies have them. Mm. So this is a footpath along the um, along the river. No, river. Oh, I'm really, really dysphasic. I'm like, mm -hmm. I know what I want to say, it just doesn't come out. Well, that happens all the time. <laughs> it's either a doodah or what, <laughs> a doodah or whatchamacallit. Oh, the whatchamacallits are getting worse, I tell you. I have no idea what you're talking about half the time, and neither do you, so it makes for a very awkward conversation. Can you dement at 52? Yeah. Uh. In your case, I just think it's overload. I think it's because you're learning so much. Your brain's tired. Oh. She loves me really. Oh, look at the roots of this tree. I'm going back to my roots. Back down to earth. Yeah. That'll be the last thing you do if that tree moves. Yeah. That'd give you a headache, wouldn't it? It would make you considerably shorter. You'd have to pull me out of the ground. It'd be like something out of a Tom and Jerry cartoon, wouldn't it? <laughs> it was a bit like your hair, wasn't it, yesterday? Your head's grown and your hair stayed the same. <laughs> so your hair looks smaller. Well, you said you needed to make my hair slightly longer to try the jackery out, didn't you? Well, it's no good for 
No point having a hairdryer, is there really? You're not that bothered here. I need it to smell me. Tell everyone this morning what I did. Oh. We'll boy. tell them what's happened first. Well, our boiler's packed in. So, we've had to um, go back to basics and have a wash in the sink, basically. Um, we have got a boiler man who's had a look at it, and so hopefully they, it won't be going on for too much longer. But Rich decided he was going to be 100% man today. And had a cold shower, didn't you? I did. So I was upstairs, our bathroom is downstairs, and I could hear the screams from upstairs, which is quite amusing. I made it. So, I had a footpath, and I goes... I think we get up into the woods now. Yeah, so that's someone's house, which is private. And then we turn left. Look at that little sign, look. That's brilliant. That's obviously the number of them people who are fed up with people walking into their front garden. Right, let's go up into the woods. Right, so we've just come up from down there. You see behind us. So now we're up here. They're so um, informative. So holly nice trees. You come to a gate here. It's got nothing on it. However, on there on a post, it does say please keep to the marked path. So. Plow or something there that laid on its side. Yeah, cheers. There we go. That's plow. Right, so, that's keeping to the marked path, we're going to go Glad I put my trainers on. up there. See where that goes. So, we're in the woods, deep in the forest, and we can hear a woodpecker who is somewhere over there. Do you hear him? You sound like David Bellamy then. Turtle hair, two boots back up. In the undergrowth. In the undergrowth. It's absolutely bloody marvellous. Anyway, we think. We think we've come the wrong way. Is there here again? Turtle hair, the wall back up. We think we've come the wrong way. There's no wrong way, but I'm trying to show you where I was the last time I was here. But I didn't come in the woods this way, and the woods are a bit disorientating, aren't they? Should we go down that path there? We're going to go down this path here, but there's a fallen tree, which means you may have to right. negotiate. We're going down this path here. Send a search party, because we're probably going to need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just part of it. Oh, here we go. Come on in. You can do the talking, because you know about this. Well, I have no idea. I don't know what it was. Andrew. These are though, you've got them keep to the way you mark the path when you can't really see them. Anyway, this is in the middle of these woods. Ooh. So, but this bit of wall with the arches. Is it, is it like a dwelling? Why don't I look, look? Oh, now this looks like it should be part of someone's house. This is a big, was a big fountain once, wasn't it? Yeah. So, come on, people of Lerin. It's magnificent, isn't it? And it's here, in the middle of the woods. So, what was it part of? Don't know. There's a piping for it, look. That's a bit, of, oh yeah. So. Yeah. So I suppose maybe it took the water from the river. Maybe the river water was pumped up here. So I don't know whether Victorians quite liked, like I say, playing sort of nymphs in the in the woods and Romans and stuff like that. So I don't know whether it was a swimming pool because it's obviously deeper down one end than it is oh, the yeah, other end. So it is. Um, Interesting. It would have been water pumped up from the river and a fountain for, you know people to frolic around in. Right, so... so and then, then there's this. So... Yeah, so there's definitely a deep end and there's some pilings for something now. It's almost like there was another building down there. 
but what that's the wall just tends to make me think it's sort of like a roman folly in a way but i obviously have no idea but the piping is look i mean that's not victorian piping is it yeah why wouldn't it not be it's not it's not modern is it uh, yeah, to me that looks too modern. Looks miles too modern. Hey, look, I'm going to walk on the edge of the swimming pool. Yeah. To me that's. That's actually a um, an outlet. So this has had this is like a pumped water. And if you look, that's all surrounded by concrete. So that has been attached either to the edge of this there, and then. Is something been pumped into there or? I don't know, where's the hole in the wall for it then? I don't, well no, I'd say it's been attached. No, I'd say it's been attached to. Well there's nothing to no, that's true. That it's been attached to anything. But they're outlets, if you look. Hmm. look that's an outlet. So where the water would have come so out. So where the water would have come out. And that to me looks like that should go over there. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird, isn't it? It's come across this in the woods. Oh, look, there's more. There's more piping. So where? Where is... It's all very interesting. It's almost like they were jets to... It, it's all too modern. Look, look at the... Like, reinforcing of the concrete. So, Does like... The meshing, the meshing, yeah. So, like, early rebarring. That's very interesting. So is this, is this older, sorry. It's made to look. It's made to look older than it actually is. We might have to do some homework on this. Because this is interesting. Well, there's that one that's that circle over here as well. So what's this? Let's go and have a look over here. I don't know whether this would have been a pavilion. Just sitting over you. It's like a little changing area, I suppose, sort of. This is like the adult pool and a children's pool. Mm, no, I don't get the feeling that this was a pool. No. There's a gate over here which sort of strikes me as private property or do not cross. Yeah. So. This has all been cut back recently, hasn't it? Yeah. So I think they're going to make a pathway Yeah, well, this is Padlock's Gate. That's a padlock gate, probably to the top of one of the houses. But interesting. So let's walk down further, see if we can find anything else. So we've walked about, I don't know, 100 yards. Mm -hmm. And there is, all the way around, these concrete pillars. Sort of pillars and Evidence of more up there. No ideas whatsoever. Not the foggiest. Yeah, I'm coming back out again. I don't know. Theatre, isn't it? Like people sit here. 
and watch. But did I sit here and look? Oh no, because this is all walled, isn't it? Ooh. So I wonder if that sort of plinth out there is connected to an ink in here. Well, there's a lot of work going into this stonework here, Rich. Yeah. No, not that, this. Yeah. That's a, lot of, that's a mason's lot of hard work, that. Yeah. Whereas that isn't. No, I mean, it's been built. That's like a breeze box, isn't it? Well, is it? Oh, it is. It is, it's breeze block. So this is not as old as you think it is. Look at this. Oh. What? What's that then? It's one of them, isn't it? It's a tickling stick. What's it? This quite sharp. Yeah. All right. All right, hang on a minute. This could go wrong. Oh, steps. There's just nothing to indicate what this is at all. Nothing at all to indicate what this is. Was just having a bit of fun, weren't they? That's not that's not been built with any particular. No, but why? Why just in the middle of the wood? And is there a, there is like a, there's a pathway? If you look on the edges, this is actually a pathway, or is it what is it for water to flow? Oh yeah. Is it like an elaborate sort of water collection? Water feature. Yeah. Is that what the other one was? No, the other one didn't have a fountain. Oh, well, the water feature is a fountain, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, something here. oh, how many? We're coming up some more. There's pipe work. It's slippery, though. I could go flat on my face. It is slippery, she didn't lie. Tank. Would you say? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Collected rainwater. Christ, no. There's an outlet bit there, and there's that big pipe over there, look. Yeah. That pipe, if you look, it's all collapsed, but it all goes that way. Yeah. To the fountain, do you think? Yeah. Wow. I mean, if you look through there, Rich, that's how close you are to people's houses, look. Yeah. Wow. Well, this is a bit of a... There's more pipe there as well. I'm going to go down this way, because that way was a little bit... Yeah, I don't yeah. think there's any... I think this is the, the end, don't you? Yeah. So, interesting. So, basically a massive water feature by the looks of it. A massive water feature. Right, I need both hands to get down with. We'll be back when we get down the bottom. Right. If I sound out of breath, I am. Uh, we basically followed the pathway and it brings you out. Uh,
back end of the village by the looks of it. Well, there's the river. There's the house that you said you liked across there. All right. Excellent. So again, something else on our doorstep that we've never, never taken the time to explore. I just said it's something else yeah. on our doorstep that we've never just never taken the time to to look around. So oh yeah. Right. We have just had a lovely chat, haven't we? With, with a local. With a local. About all the things we found in the woods. But yeah, all the things we found in the woods. Do you wanna because I'll, I'll go into doodars and thingamies. All right, well, there was a chap, I don't know, did we get his name? Uh, Parker. Parkin, Parker. Um, he, oh, it's not that old actually, 1920s. Um, he'd done a bit of, he came originally from the village and he did a bit of traveling and he went to- He worked for English China Cray, Clay. Yes. Yeah. He went traveling and um, we got two stories really, didn't we? We got one, we got a, uh, a Tivoli, outside Rome or a Tivoli Park in Copenhagen so could be either of those we haven't looked this up yet um, they had an amusement park there or water features type park and this chap came back and decided to um, to give it as a present to his village so we built what we saw in the woods there and it was uh, all water features wasn't it yeah like pools and fountains and the last time it was used was 1968. Yep. So. so, but it still shows on tourist maps as Tivoli Amusement Park. So all the holiday makers come here thinking there's an amusement park when there isn't. But no, it is. And the locals said it never really was meant to be an amusement park, um, as in what we would think was an amusement park. It was um, just an act. Just little gardens. A little, it, oh yes, a garden. So yeah. it's actually called the Secret Garden. Um, obviously, we're not making it very secret now. But I'm sure when people come here, we found it. It's not going to be hard to find if you well, go for a it walk, is, is it? The people it belonged to, they're now cutting back all of the... Um, all the undergrowth. Undergrowth, yeah. So, so they're actively encouraging people, people to come here and have a look. And I mean... It'll help the local community because um, I'm sure all these people, all these gorgeous houses around here, but um, they will all depend the locals on visitors, like most places in Cornwall. Yeah. So, the old lime kiln look. Yeah. Right, we're going to go and see if we can go over the stepping stones. Yes, this will be interesting. Excellent. Back in a minute. Ah. Uh, right. Stepping stones. Should we just hang fire here for a minute? So you still parked it there so that if you came out the door, you were actually over the river. You made that look very easy. <laughs> what? Right. There we go. On them, in case one of them falls in. I'm trying to miss yeah. that moment. Uh, yeah, yeah, you've said that. Come on in, after you. So, we're going across the stones of the step. Yeah, the last time I did this, the water was a little bit deeper. Ah. Uh. Do, do, do. Ba, ba, ba. What happens if we get stuck? You have to walk over to the bridge, love. Ah. I can walk on water. We are across. I mean, look. Look at their garden. Wow. And 
even down to that bridge, look. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Go that way. I will do. Right. Yeah. You have to walk across nonchalantly like you do it every day. Like he probably does. Yeah. So Tivoli Gardens is up there. In that woods. In that woods. And it was all built by a guy from English China Clay. Absolutely brilliant. Do you want right. to walk this side of the river? Yeah, let's do that. So we're now the other side of the river. I'm assuming that the public byways both ways. Let's walk down here. So we've uh, we've walked the pathway from the stepping stones and through and now that house there is the one that is just before the footpath that leads up into the woods into Tivola? Tivoli. Tivoli. Tivoli Gardens. But that house there, yes, I'd, I'd very much like that. Very nice. Very much can't afford it, but I'd very much like it. So, but we're going to continue down a little way, see how far down it goes. The, the clouds have covered the the sun. They have, but we're it's going to walk. walk. So we're going to have a look down just a little bit. What's that? Oh look, there's a duck. Oh, there's ducks. They're parked. They've moored up in the in the mud. So we're going to walk down a little bit further and um, see what we can find down here. If there is anything to find down here. And so the path continues. Right, through there, through there. Look, Ooh. birdie. That's an egret, that's. A what? Egret. An egret? Yes. Have you seen it? It's like a smaller version of a heron, really. There's a very yeah. funny aroma, isn't there? Can you smell it? Oh yeah. A very fine big post. Down to the river. That's very lovely. So what, you want a bit of peace and tranquility? This is the place. Marvellous. There it goes. No doubt I might have been disturbed. Mm. Oh, I like having this bit of river to myself. That pathway looks as if it goes up mm. and out. It doesn't um Don't follow the river anymore. Doesn't follow the river anymore. So oh, oh, oh by the looks oh, no, it might do there's people walking up round there. Up over there, so there's a possibility it probably horseshoes round. Oh yeah. Look at that though. It is just There's not many places you can go where you can't hear cows. It's just so peaceful. Hmm, lovely. Absolutely lovely. I think we'll follow the path for just a little bit longer. And then we'll head back towards the car, I think. I just know it's rain. Ah, oh, right, yeah, that's a good point. We're just, um, just saying, look at that gatepost. What a lovely gatepost. Out all of that tree. Yeah, that tree is just they're sort of hanging now by good luck, really, isn't it? Yeah, there's a nice water feature when it rains. 
We've come to a fork in the path. So, blue circle is left by the looks of it. Where the blue circle is. Another little bridge. What have you found? Tell you what, if you like a walk, this is absolutely stunning. I thought Goliath Falls was beautiful, but this is like going back in time. There's no people. It's just absolutely brilliant. Oh. I think you're actually meant to step on that rather as opposed to through the water, but there you go. Step on what? There's a little big stone, little big stony thing. Oh, oh look. So the path goes two ways, so you can carry on going that way, can't you? Yeah. And, um, or you can go this way and still follow the course of the main river. Yeah. I've got no idea where that main river goes. But it is. It looks like a sea, won't it? Yeah. How brilliant is this? Wow. Oh, isn't it? Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely things to do on your day off. Yeah. There's a, a stream running in down. I don't know if you can see it in the distance. Yeah. Running down, going out to sea. Do you want to go and put your hand in and see how cold it is? She's going to go and see how cold it is. What? Not cold, cold? Not freezing cold, then. Could uh, we could get one of them drinky things and drink that? Not a stall, do No, no. You <laughs> What's uh, the drinking thing then? The one that's... Is it uh, a washmaker? Yeah, the... An intimate bit. The, 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 the doodah. The survival canister. Oh, where okay. you can fill it up with any water and then drink it. Yeah, you could do. Have you got one? We don't have. Well... Another go-to gadget we need. There we go. Useful so, tip number 47. We haven't got one. So this looks like a... This is man-made, isn't it? Ah, that hurt. That's it, you can always step on that. Excellent. Right, we're gonna head back up the path, back to the car. We'll see you back at the car. Unless we find something else interesting before we get back to the car. Well, we didn't do a back in the car one, did we? We forgot, didn't we? We forgot that and the fact that the battery was like near enough empty. Uh, sorry. Sorry. So that was Lering. It was beautiful. It was very nice. Um, we learnt a bit about the, tri tri what's the name of the place? Tiv Tivoli. Tivoli. Tivoli Gardens, which to much amusement is shown on, uh, I think it's Google as 
Tivoli amusement park and apparently during holiday season uh, a lot of the poor visitors turn up expecting an amusement park and what they get is a lot of ruins. You said that before? I did. Okay. So, uh, do you mean poor as in penniless or do you mean poor as in, as in unfortunate? Unfortunate. Okay, just checking. Just checking. Right, that was Lerin. Thank you for watching. Uh, this will probably be the last of our sort of lockdown vlogs because um, yeah there was a few more folk out today wasn't there there was a few more folk out today so last of our lockdown vlogs I'm thinking um, hopefully there won't be a third wave <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> go on do you want to do your bit oh um no <laughs> yeah <laughs> ding the bell for notifications please like and subscribe comment and share and um, we'll be back with a slow cooker demonstration using the jackery. So see you then. Bye for now. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.